welcome to KMTV. I'm Louisa Britton. Your top stories tonight. Student dies at university accommodation. DIY SOS returns to Sheppey. And Robbie Williams spotted in Kent. But first this evening, a Kent University student has been found dead at his accommodation in Gillingham. Undergraduate Adam Myatt was a first year social sciences student from Staffordshire. His body was found at the Liberty Keys flat yesterday, but his death is thought to have been from natural causes. I was at the scene earlier today. Well, I'm at Liberty Keys, which is the student accommodation here in Gillingham and the student blocks that you can see behind me, where it's been confirmed that a student has died. Now it's all pretty quiet at the moment, but it's around four o'clock yesterday afternoon, police and paramedics were called to Liberty Keys and the 19 year old male student was pronounced dead at the scene. The police are saying that they're not treating the death as suspicious and the next of kin have been informed. This is Weezer Britain for KMTV in Gillingham. And a toddler has been reunited with his mother after they survived a crash that killed his father. This footage from the family shows two-year-old David Nolan recovering in hospital. He was critically injured in a crash on the A2 near Canterbury a month ago. His father Paddy was pronounced dead at the scene and doctors gave David little chance of survival. But the toddler has so far beaten the odds and is continuing to make step towards recovery. His mother Babs, who was being treated in a separate London hospital, has now been moved to be closer to him. And the Queen visited Medway for the first time in almost a decade. She visited Brompton Barracks in Chatham to celebrate the 300th anniversary of the Corps of Royal Engineers. Joshua Coop has more. Well, the Queen's paid tribute to the hard work and determination of the troops here at Brompton Barracks today. She applauded them for their innovation and success in battles like Iraq and Afghanistan, saying they've helped better protect the country. She arrived by helicopter shortly after 11.30. She's been meeting, serving and former uh, servicemen and their families. She's enjoyed a nice lunch and before she goes, she's going to be given two fluffy dogs, said to be the unofficial mascots of the Royal Engineers. And it's thought she's going to give those to her two great-grandchildren, Prince George and Princess Charlotte. This is Joshua Coop for KMTV in Gillingham. The BBC's popular show DIY SOS returned one last time to Sheppey for the big reveal. They finished their project for Gary and Carl Ratcliffe and their four adopted children. Nick Knowles teamed up with almost 200 local workmen and completed the build in just nine days. So here we are at the end of our 10 day build and it's been magnificent, very emotional. We're all very tired. I finished at two o'clock in the morning and then was up at 6.30 to get to do the reveal. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, we have actually built a home in nine days. We've built an entire house on gifted materials, on you know gifted timber frame, on all of the kitchens, everything else that's gone in there, all the landscaping on the outside. So this is a really big thank you to all the trades that have joined in, uh, all the suppliers that have helped us out and made it possible for us to build uh, this family a home that they need. And Robbie Williams has been spotted in Kent. The former Take That star was caught on camera in Sheppey by Sasha Bourgoyne as he is filming a new music video in Laysdown for his Christmas single. Hundreds of people are said to be involved in the shoot. And in sport, Gillingham play away to Bristol Rovers in the league on Saturday and will be looking to bounce back after last weekend's disappointing defeat to Oldham. The Jills, who currently sit 14th in the table, could move on into the top 10 if they win. Assistant manager David Kerslake confirmed that the Jills are almost over their recent injury troubles. We're almost at a full, um, full squad now, so there'd be um, a lot of competition for players and uh, we need to get back to uh, you know that seriously hard working closing down side that uh, we, we had last year. The players we believe uh, uh, we're better this year with the squad and it's just you know get back to basics and uh, we'll be okay. And that's all from us this evening. We'll be back again tomorrow with all the latest stories from across your county. In the meantime, don't forget you can always keep up to date by listening to KMFM or logging on to kentonline.co.uk. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.